I want to bring in Bill Fleckenstein of Fleckenstein Capital. Bill's at his trading desk out in Seattle. And Bill, the real question for you is, you know, we can talk about Bernanke and we can hypothesize, but what are you doing to trade this market right now? <laughs> well, I'm not doing too much. I've got a couple of shorts. Um, and I don't have any real longs other than um, Microsoft and a, and a couple of and some gold related names. I think the pressure is going to continue to be to the downside because the real problem, that being the European banking system and sovereign debt problem, uh, is not going away. It's not getting better. And the powers that be in Europe are very, uh, in, seem to be quite incompetent in, term, in terms of getting in front of the problem. So we have the banking debt crisis there. We have our own issues. It's all feeding on each other. And until the ECB prints a lot of money and the Fed joins in, the pressure is liable to be the downside. We could have a crash in a couple of days and they could be printing money. So it's, it's, it's tricky to be long. It's tricky to be short. It's better to be quite careful, I think. Yeah, sit on cash. Hey, back in 2008, you wrote a book, The Greenspan Bubble, The Age of Ignorance at the Fed. If you were writing the book today, what would the title be? Uh, let's just abolish the Fed and get it over with. I mean, the problem, and it's not to, to poke fun at the individuals there, but the idea that we can have these managed paper currencies is being proven right now to be a fallacy. It's been 40 years since the paper currencies of the world and led by the dollar have been linked to nothing, and this is the mess we're in as a consequence. We need to get back to some sort of a currency with a real anchor to stop these imbalances from growing so large before they blow out of control and we have an environment like we have today. Hey, it sounds like you're making the case for going long precious metals, other hard assets. Are you doing that? Well, I have been long them, and, um, and that's the reason why, because um, it's not so much that anyone who owns gold thinks they are a genius and they know what the gold price ought to be. But what is quite clear is the paper currencies uh, are, are worthless, I mean, and the folks that are the stewards of them don't know what they're doing. And they, they continue to try to s solve the problem of, of uh, too much debt and too much money creation with more of the same. Having said that, that's exactly the antidote that they're going to pursue again next. Um, and ultimately, sometime down the road, the world's going to take the printing press away from these central bankers, but that's not going to be any time real soon. So it sounds like to, like you're going to stay like you're going to stay in cash. Maybe go short. Well, you know, I'm I'm not really that much. I mean, I've got some cash. I've got precious metals and related ideas which are getting beat up right now. But um, you know, we've seen this we've seen this happen many times in the ten year bull market for for metals. I'm just saying um, I think it's going to be tricky to to, to uh, be short because. <clears throat> to be aggressively short. I mean, stocks are going down. They're going to continue to go down probably until the pain gets too much for the ECB, and then we'll have a monstrous rally. Negotiating this that th this period is a, is quite tricky, and uh, that's all, that's all I'm suggesting is that 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 people need to be aware that there's these two forces, all the pressures to the downside, but that's going to at some point incent the central bankers to do more what they like to do, which is print money. All right, Bill Fleckenstein, Fleckenstein Capital. Hey, thanks for taking time out. I know it's a busy trading day. It's not easy trading out there. Thanks for joining us from Seattle.